Hi everyone, my name is Jen and this is Beast House of Plants where we talk about these house plant and home design. Welcome back! So now we are in my bedroom and this is probably the area with the second most amount of plants. This is an east facing window. This window gets such good morning lighting. Um, now it's like pretty late in the afternoon so the lighting isn't that great anymore. But in the morning this gets really really good lighting. So um, hanging plants. This is my philodendron brazil. I talk about this in like every single video but I just started um, training it up and I've been training it with some sea hooks. Um, I used to use like the sticky velcro hook things that everyone uses um, and this is so much better because I can take this down like that. Um, went with the sea hooks and then I could water this plant so yeah um, and then usually there's another plant right here which is this plant this is my other philodendron brazil slash maybe a cream splash um, and so that plant is usually right here but I decided to swap out the macrame hanger so I haven't put it up yet okay so this one this is a Cebu blue this is another plant it is backlit you can't see okay this is a Cebu blue um this is another plant that was a gift from my plant uh from my friend vintage plants um it's been doing really really well it's starting to trail now so I'm really really happy about that so I'm loving that hanging there and then this is my enjoy pothos um okay let me try to see if I can get you guys a better view that's my enjoy pothos um it's been doing better now that it's in more light it used to be in the top shelf of my plant shelving and it was not happy there put out like these ridiculously small leaves um, while it was up there so it was definitely like not happy and it's been a lot happier since I moved it to this window okay let's see what's along this shelving this is a variegated elephant bush that is not doing very well. I don't do well with succulents. That's one's hanging on by a thread. Um, this is a Oxalis Shamrock Shake from Gabriella Plants. I think this one needs to be pruned a little bit more. I do prune this pretty regularly. Um, but yeah, it's starting to look a little bit straggly again. So I think it needs a little bit more pruning. These are like really satisfying to like pull out um but you just have to be careful that you don't pull out like the tubers all right so this is the skindapsis pictus silvery and i always have kind of like an issue with this one where like it puts out new leaves constantly but as soon as a new leaf comes out a leaf dies um uh, and someone told me that i should try to water it a little less um so I'm gonna try that. I've been trying to water it only when the leaves are really, really curled to see if that helps. This is my um, Trinoscantia. Um, it's not the Nanook. I can't remember off the top of my head what this variety is called, but it's a really, really pretty lilac color. I got this one from Trader Joe's and I am transferring it into Lekka. And I think it's actually been doing fairly well in Lekka. So that's that okay this is my variegated string of pearls um this one is doing so much better um i used to have another one that i like basically killed um and i think it really comes down to the medium whereas like this medium is very very porous and it's mostly pearlite and so this has been doing a lot better starting to trail really really long now um, this is a cutting from that plant. This is the Skindapsis Exotica. So it's a much, much bigger leaf size and it is much more silver. I really like this one. 
and put this. Um, this is the Skindapsis Jade. It's a Skindapsis, but it's all the green, uh, but it's all green. Um, I got this in a trade. You might have seen that video. Um, it had root rod and the majority of this plant died off. Um, but I water propagated it and then I just recently transferred it into Leca and I think it's been doing really really well in Leca and it's starting to put out a new growth now so I'm really really excited about this um because you know this is just one leaf and it's kind of deformed so I'm really excited to see the potential of this plant and what it looks like when it's like nice and pretty okay next to it that is another oxalis this one is just a regular green variety and then next to that is another um peperomia obtusifolia golden gate um this one is the base like the last leaf of the plant that was sunburned um and it's put out pretty like one two three four four new leaves since i cut it so super happy in this window Okay, you might see me trying to push this plant out of the way. This is my fiddle leaf fig. Um, we had a contentious relationship when we started out, but it is all good now. Now it really likes me. Um, the key is to literally never move your fiddle. As soon as you find a place where it puts out new growth or looks like semi-happy, you just literally never move it. Um, I'm currently watering it about once every two weeks which it seems to really like and it's in the same soil mixture that all of my errors are in it's the one that's in pretty much all of my videos um and it put out these two leaves recently and it put out about i think five or six leaves this growing season um i feel like it might be done for the season though because i haven't really seen a new leaf lately so my fiddle leaf fig Okay, so you saw that plant already that's usually hanging, um, and then, so it's currently resting on its storage bin. I'm trying to find, like, maybe, like, a sideboard or something to go here so that I could put my plants on it and have storage at the bottom, but this is what's happening right now. And then this is a cutting from my variegated rubber tree or my ficus um, elastica tanniki. Um, and it's doing well. This rooted up so quickly. This rooted up in like less than two weeks and I was water propagating it. Now it's in Lekka, living its best life. Okay, we'll put it here. I don't think it gets a lot of sunlight all the way down here. So I definitely want to get like another piece of furniture to go right here. This is a plant stand that I painted. We've had this plant stand for a long time. It was just like regular brown and I painted it pink. This is my Monstera, um, my Monstera Deliciosa, it's just a regular green version. Um, I don't know, I feel like this plant actually doesn't like this window very much, but I don't know, I like this is just like a great spot for it, so I might move it back to my plant room underneath the grow light, but I would really rather it live here, so if it can just put out a new leaf over here please, I would greatly appreciate that. So yeah but this is the latest leaf and now it's like officially taller than its pole um but i'm not gonna extend this pole because if you see all the nodes they're still down here like there's no nodes like up here so i can actually leave this size pole in here for a much while longer so those are all the plants over here I'm gonna quickly show you this shelf. This shelf doesn't actually really have any plants because it's actually far away from the window and I use it mostly to display other things. But I do have a couple of plants. This is a watermelon peperomia. Um, I don't do well with these. It's currently in Lekka. I just like don't do very well with these. And then this is another cutting of my golden pothos in a Topo Chico bottle. Um, let's see if this has roots. I don't think this has any roots. Oh, I see like a teeny tiny baby root. So I'm sure that will root up eventually. And then over here is a sad looking cutting of the Monstera Adansonii. This is a runner. Um, and 
I don't know. This is mostly for display. I don't know if this is actually gonna root like all the way over here. Um, also, I have the worst luck with this bottle. It's so pretty, but my plants never do well in it. So this is really just for display purposes. This is a new corner for me. I just created this corner. Um, I just moved this dresser into my room, so now I have some more space to put my plants. Um, okay, so let's start over here. This is another Sansi grow light bulb. The pendant cover is from Wolf Market and the cord is from Amazon. Um, this basket is from Michael's I think and then I just put some macrame cord on it so that I can hang it from the ceiling. Um, inside this basket we have a neon pothos and the other section of the uh, heart-shaped philodendron. So my vision is that they will grow. Oh, hi, you can see me in the mirror. Uh, my vision is that these will grow, you know, past the basket and kind of like hide the basket. Um, but we still have some ways to go before that happens. And then right underneath, I have this stool is from Ikea. And this is the rubber tree. I've had this rubber tree since last year. I love this section. It's so pretty. I love that it keeps putting out half moon leaves. Definitely one of my favorites in my collection. Um, can also handle a lot of neglect, which is great. Okay, on the actual dresser, I decided to go for kind of like a brown clay boho vibe in this room versus my office, which is very like black, white, gray. Um, okay, this is a Peperomia Rosso. It's planted directly into the terracotta pot because I don't like peperomias because they keep getting root rot slash and stem rot on me. This is some um, sad looking sections of watermelon peperomia um, that I propagated. And then this is a Raphidophora tetrasperma. This is the first one I got. Um, this one got cut back at the beginning of this year um, and it's just kind of putting out new growth again so really excited about this plant um, one day I can imagine that it like will trail across this wall okay this is just an oil diffuser from Amazon I use it to kind of increase the humidity a little bit but none of the plants in this area require a lot of high humidity so it's not like a huge deal um this platter is from hobby lobby i got it pretty recently and then this is my jade pothos from gabriella plants um it's trailing like would love to envision it like trailing across my books we can hope we can dream one day. Um, this is a snake plant. This is the only snake plant I have. This is a Bantel Sensation, I believe. I got it off of eBay and it came kind of like damaged, um, but I still like it. I kind of just neglect it, but you know, it's a snake plant, so it thrives on that. I believe that this, this like section is new from when I got it versus everything else. So yeah, so those are all the plants in my room. Okay, so now we are in the bathroom. Um, some of these are my plants, some of these are my mom's plants. This is the other half of the Syngonium that is in my plant room. Um, we split it pretty recently, so this is the other half. Um, the two ferns are my mom because I do not like ferns. This is an asparagus fern. And then I think this one was labeled as a Kimberly fern. I don't know if that's an accurate label, but that's what it was labeled as. I think ferns do well in here because it's the shower, so it gets humid throughout the day. Um, so that's why I feel like they're not like browning or anything, even though there's not a humidifier in here. But I just don't don't really like them. And then this is my Pilea peperomoides or Chinese friendship plant. This was banished outside earlier this year because it kept getting on it but it has been treated it has survived so now it gets to come back inside so those are all the plants that are in here 
Okay, so this is the last place in the house that I have some plants. Um, this is downstairs. So here we have two rubber trees. That is another um, Ficus Elastica Taniki, and that's just a regular rubber tree. And then here, this is one of my favorite tricks. Um, so I love getting like really big planters. And then instead of just putting one plant in, um, I stuff it with multiple plants, and they're all in their regular nursery pots. Um, um, so yeah, so it's easy for watering purposes. So this is a Hoya Crimson Queen. This is a Peperomia up to Sefolia over here. And this is a Peace Lily. Okay, that's all I have for you today. If you stayed all the way through, thank you for watching. This is such a long video. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.